guys and welcome to another video. This is ASMR Machine as I'm sure you know and this is my third year anniversary slash thousand subscriber celebration. Well it's not really a celebration it's just a video I'll put together really for it. But anyway um, this is the first video I've done in quite a while and now I actually started my channel, so I think I mentioned in the previous video, at an, an ASMR meetup. Well, I met up with a few other ASMR artists and I was encouraged to create a channel. And that was three years ago, and if you want more information on that, I did actually discuss it in a previous anniversary video, and I'll put a link down there in the description. Now, um, the uh, thing I've created in this video is well, it's something I've had, I've had been sitting on the so-called back burner for about a month or so. So I've got started a while ago, and yeah, now I've finally managed to finish it. Um, here we are. Now, and this may look like um, a load of gears, wires, motors, and other bits attached to a wooden board, and. You'll be right, because that is what it is. But it's basically designed to demonstrate some basic principles of motion, gearing, and electrical circuitry as well. And one more thing. I have bulbs in it to not only do they help give a clear indication of what's happening, and they can also make it look kind of nice as well, which I think is pretty good. Uh, then there's four of them, well actually, four of these large bulbs. There are two small bulbs here and here, which indicate the status of these switches. I don't know how that sounds for you, but... with. Does that sound ASMR like or or is it just another kind of random sound? I'm fiddling around on my bar, I'm gonna get this thing set up. Okay, that shouldn't be there. That should be on on, let's get the voltage up to the right level. That's about 12. So before I get it running, I'm just going to take a few bits of it apart so I can show you some of the basic mechanical operations in how this thing actually functions. This here is actually the motor, and that's basically the heart of what it does. Now, cram that out there so it's easy to demonstrate. Put it there. Um, in case you weird eyes, this is actually a piece of plastic pipe and with a kind of semi circular cutout there. The motor is kind of popped in the top there. And the shaft of the motor is in line with that space there. So I'm going to put the belt around it, it lines up quite nicely. And this plastic pipe is a pretty rigid support for it. So the first stage here is the, of course, the belt itself. And that transfers the motion from the uh, motor into this second large gear down here. Now I think I should not have unscrewed that earlier because the pieces have just gone everywhere. This may not look like much this thing but it's actually pretty fiddly and small. I've got a large screw down the middle with a large hollowed out screw which gives it the pivot point that it needs. 
and then it transfers it onto this very large gear here. Now with this gear, as it turns around, operates the crankshaft. Tell you what. So get this in place to go. started it up just now. I hadn't actually run the motor properly in over a month and a little bit it's sounding a little bit cranky but no pun intended but yes it's good. Yes, it's good. So as you can see what explains motor, drive belt, gear, 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 crank. Um, linear gear and then these gears give it something to run on. Now, of course, I'm not just going to leave it like that, I am going to power up all of them and power up the dogs. I do hope the second output on this thing is working. Okay, so you can see the basic principles of what we're doing here. And you can probably see by now what these switches are doing. The switch here and the switch there. So, when it knocks onto this switch, These are standard, I'm not sure what the name is, oh hello, we lost our power again. These are standard, um, what's known as micro switches. Um, and basically, you push them to, they're not latching, they're non-latching switches, but basically what you do, you, they will adjust the circuit accordingly. So, so as it knocks a switch, switch one on one end of the uh, on on one end, it changes over, and when you knock on the other end, it changes back again. And you don't need to hold it down. Once you've pulled and released the switch, it stays there. You don't need to hold it down. And this little bulb here indicates that the states of the switch. I don't know if I'm talking gibberish to you guys, but never mind. I'm sure some people won't enjoy it. So anyway, I will start up the old motor again. Well, though, it's like jam here. So switch one, release switch one, and then switch two, switch one, release switch one, and then switch two, release switch two, and then switch one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and put some 
put some plastic grease on these gears, see if it quietens them down. I don't think that's really done anything. Like jam here. But I don't know. Um, do people enjoy those kinds of sounds? I and mean, if you do, you can let me know in the uh, description. So, yeah. and this thing here, this component, this component here. This is what's known as a relay. It's basically what's switching between the two sets of bulbs every time. Every time one of the switches pressed. So this thing here is basically the heart of the uh, the bulbs. So the switches feed into here, and these consequently feed into the bulbs. I want to speed up a little bit. You know, you're running over at half power anyway, but I don't know what. I shall turn the lights off. Christmas night to turn it. A very noisy set of Christmas lights. basic principles of electric circuits and switching, as well as demonstrating the basic principles of mechanical motion, gearing and other basic mechanisms, as well as last but not least making some kind of nice ASMR sounds as well. I decided that I was running out of gears. I've gone through so many gears with all the projects I've made and I found that I was no longer really seemed to have enough to create the uh, things I wanted to create. So I bought two large bags of plastic gears off eBay and yeah, incorporated them into this. Now I think these gears are designed primarily for schools, colleges and other educational environments but they work pretty well on here, I will admit. Mm. Cause I mean, oh yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, they're pretty good for educational purposes, no matter what environment you use them in. So, and that's another thing. Despite how simplistic the. Uh, how simplistic the uh, um, effect of this the bulbs is is actually using a surprisingly high amount of wiring. For example, here, which uh, we actually have, well, I've got stuck it in. We actually have five separate wires, five. And here we've got another about six or seven. And one, quite a lot there. And yeah.
Yeah. I could have just left it as it was, but without the bulbs, but when you're kind of demonstrating something as I am now, they are very effective in showing people exactly what's happening. And of course, these switch arms, I had to bend them so that they would they would be in the right place for the uh, latches that they're latching onto. These switches are very versatile. Tell you what, I'm gonna let you see it from another angle. Mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this contraption once I've finished using it for the video. Although, what normally tends to happen with things I make, they tend to sit around in the shed for about four or five months until I need to use their parts on the newer, newer machines and they end up being dismantled for their parts. But hey, that's what I do. I always reuse the uh, parts from older machines on the newer ones. Same as buying new parts. In fact, I think this motor has probably been used on quite a number of machines. Yeah. The motors tend to be quite prone to being reused. Yeah. Look at that. I'll see if I can turn it by hand. Nope. Ooh, didn't like that. Sounds. Do you like the clicking sounds? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, that's probably pretty much all I have to show you guys for this video. Um, let me know if you liked it, let me know um, what you'd maybe like to see in the future. If it's something I can do, then I'll do my best effort to try and do it. Um, let me know what sounds you like, let me know what, know what sounds you don't like, or... And yeah, um, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you found this video enjoyable, and yeah. Bye-bye.